This is Twit. Andy in New Jersey, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Andy. Hi, Leo. How you doing? I'm well. Welcome. I, uh, I have a security question for you. You might think I'm being a little too paranoid. You might not. But first, I wanted to say thank you. And back in 2004, I was dealing with uh, a situation where every parent and adult in my life was telling me to not go to school and get ready for them again. And you responded to an email telling me to go to college and some other things. <laughs> they were, so, wait a minute. They were saying don't bother because the world's at, at coming to an end? Yeah. We, we This was a long time ago we talked about that. But nonetheless. Wow. So you did go to school. school yeah, you know. Education. Do it because you love it, even if the world's coming to the end. And, hey, maybe it won't come to an end, and uh, you'll have a skill. Yeah. Well, you definitely set a 16-year-old kid straight. Now I'm 30, and I'm doing okay. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. It's nice to and talk to you. Still here. And, the, and it didn't come. To, you know what? It could happen tomorrow. But you, you have some fun while, you're, while, while we're here. That's great, Andy. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for uh, telling me about that. So as far as my situation goes... Um, I have a work-at-home job, and uh, they have an iMac that hooks up to my Xfinity gateway router, and it's a connection I pay for, but their policy is that any uh, visible traffic on the network from any device, even, you know, mine, they have the right to audit uh, whenever they want. Who's they? And uh, uh, my employer, who shall remain nameless. Yeah, so that's actually a good thing to keep in mind. That when you're on a work network or using work equipment, the employer has that right. They don't even have to tell you that. They they just have the right. Yeah. So you're using a... I figured that. Do you pay for that? You said, though, that you pay for the Xfinity, or is that not the case? I uh, I pay for everything except for the computer itself. So, and, and you know, I was thinking and doing some research on it. And if they, if you use your computer on your network, they have no right to access that. Yeah, that's that was my thought too. Um, however, human resources had other thoughts. So. Well, you could sue the heck out of them. No, are you on company okay. time? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I guess if you're on company time, so part of this comes from not a, a you know a desire to spy on you, but the, a, a very legitimate concern companies have uh, over things like sexual harassment lawsuits. If they're responsible yeah. for creating a safe workplace, are you working at home? Yeah, um, remote IT for a, a subcontractor okay. that works for well, a, a larger a, that's company. That's a little and weird. My concern is more or less, um, you know, a rogue employee taking advantage of yeah, spying on you. Um, hang on, hang on a second. I got to take a break. I really, this is an interesting one. Uh, maybe if there's a lawyer listening, we can get some help. Eighty-eight, eighty-eight. Ask Leo. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Okay, so you work as a remote IT guy for this company. Mm -hmm. You use a company yeah. computer, but you pay for and use your own network. Uh, correct. Uh, if uh, And then in order to do this, do you log into a company network? Uh, well, yeah, here's the, the setup. You know, I got the Xfinity router with, you know, three Ethernet connections. I ran myself one to their machine, which at times is not on the VPN, but... Most of the time is going to be software hooked up to their Cisco VPN. And uh, I was thinking, you know, so the auditing that they're doing, adding a separate router. And yeah. Separate so the, audit, the auditing, the auditing that, stuff. yeah, the auditing that they're doing uh, is only of the stuff that you do over their VPN. Yeah. They could, in theory, have software on that particular PC that also monitors it and sends screenshots back to the home office, that kind of thing. But. Uh, generally speaking, unless they're particularly uh, aggressive, they're not monitoring other traffic. Like if you took another computer, got on your Xfinity, didn't do the VPN to work, but just used your router to go out to the outside world, they'd have no access to that. Unless they really want to be malicious. Yeah, you know, like I, I was thinking, we're, you know, some random rogue employee, uh, you know, doing no, but, uh, yeah, but do, uh, Yeah, but, but he'd have to... In order to do that, he'd have to either put some malware on the router or malware on your other computers. If okay. my suggest here's what my suggestion would be that when you're doing this, disconnect the company computer from the router. Well, that's the thing they want it on all the time. Um, you know, which they want it on all the time. 
Yeah, so they can do maintenance whenever they'd like and whatnot. And, you know, even when the VPN's off, they are able to remote desktop in and whatnot. And I'm thinking, well, if they're that far, they could easily look into my network shares. Yeah, they're on your network. No, no, they are on your network. Yeah. So would a separate router, like maybe a a VPN router, a separate one hooked up to the Xfinity on a whole separate, you know, subnet of IPs be enough or, or too much? So one way, well, let me think what you could do here. Um, if they say that this is uh, must be a persistent connection at all times, that their company provided desktop has to be on, VPN has to be running, connected to the router, and that router is obviously always connected to the internet. That means they're always keeping a channel open because their computer is on your network. It could be used to snoop on other network traffic. That's correct. The best yeah. way to I don't think it's their intent, but you know. The problem is that the Xfinity router, would they allow you... See, for instance, one of the things you could do is you could use a separate router to connect to the Xfinity router. You know, like one of these tiny hardware firewalls I'm always talking about. Uh, mm-hmm. In fact, that might be the best way to do this. So you get a, a, a little uh, firewall that you connect another computer to. It connects to the Comcast but uses a VPN to go pass through the Comcast and out to another router. They would have no access to anything you do at that point. If you didn't use yeah. a VPN when you connect to the router, even if you used another router, they'd see that traffic because the traffic's not encrypted when it gets to the Comcast router. Yeah, well, I was thinking, of, you know, like you said, a router VPN built in. That way I don't have to set up all my devices. Yeah. You know, individually, yeah. my Xbox would even be on the VPN at that point. Yeah. I think that could, might be great. You could do that. It's going to give you some overhead because of the VPN. Yeah. <sighs> I'm okay do with they, that. Do they I'd insist rather... that you use the Xfinity router? Is that part of the deal? No. Uh, you know, I was honestly thinking about getting a, a separate DSL. That's what I would do. Like phone line, just yeah. pay for the extra connection. Another another way that. to do this would be to get a more sophisticated. I I don't like these Xfinity routers anyway. You still need to use the Comcast cable box, you know, the uh, cable modem mm-hmm. box. But you don't need to use its its router. And get another yeah. router like, say, the Ubiquiti Edge Router X, which lets you do VLANs. And you can do discrete LANs, one to your work desktop and one two something else hold on a second we're going to come back leo laporte the tech guy 8888 ask leo the phone number if you've got a question a comment a suggestion we've been talking to andy who has an interesting work situation (laughs) uh he's a remote it guy his uh his uh, company requires him to use a company laptop at home that's always connected to their virtual private network, and he may not turn it off. So his personal internet is being used by this company laptop to phone home at all times. His concern is that this company laptop, if somebody at work decided to be malicious, has access to its net- his network. And you're right, Jonathan, it does. It's just sitting... And this is, by the way, the same thing we talk about with other Internet of Things devices, like an Amazon Echo or a a uh, ring doorbell when when these devices are put on your home network they are on your network and if somebody were to commandeer them they could use them to get on your network so you you know you trust your company its company's not going to do anything malicious but it does in fact have a have a uh, device inside the house <laughs> inside your network so your your best bet would be to isolate it somehow so that you could then do whatever you want without fear that anybody's spying on you um, it's interesting the company's requiring this. Um, yeah, and they were fuzzy when asked directly because, you know, I asked HR about what I was signing. And I was like, the wording here is pretty all-encompassing, and they were pretty unsure. But Yeah, they're always going to – yeah, any, any legal document they're going to give you is always going to err on their side. That's, you know, I mean, but you don't want to hire a lawyer before you sign it, but that's really the, the right thing to do because they're not going to do anything uh, to benefit you. Everything's going to be worded in such a way that they go to court, they have all the rights. And in fact, courts have always upheld employers do have a lot of rights. This is an unusual situation because the employer now is inside your house, which you have a right to privacy. Uh, you know, you, you certainly, if they started spying on you, you'd have recourse. Because if yeah. you're using your personal, as, if you're using their computer, no. But if you're using your personal computer and they 
uh, did something that uh, sp to spy on you, even though you gave them permission to have their computer in your house, that would be illegal. So that's good to know. You are protected in that regard. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty sure on that, in that in that regard, no matter what you sign, they don't have the right to spy on your private traffic. Only stuff that you do on the work network with the work computer. In other words, the VPN and that computer. However, let's say you really do want to protect yourself. So because they have access to your network through the router, the best thing to do would be to isolate their computer from the rest of your network. And there are a couple of ways to do that. The Xfinity router you have may not have that capability, but a third, many third-party routers do. It's something called VLAN or Virtual Local Area Network, where if you had, it's in effect two networks in your house, one for the company computer and one for everything else, you'd be safe because that company computer couldn't cross the barrier and see what you're doing. That's one, uh, by the way, solution for Internet of Things devices. If you don't want your Amazon Echo to become a gateway to bad guys into your network, you put it on a separate network. And you can do that with a virtual LAN. So you could look for, you, you'd have to, you have to keep using the Comcast cable modem, but you don't have to use their router. So you could have their, put their router in bridge mode so that it's not doing any routing. It's just a passive device. You need then a couple of, there'd be a couple of ways to do this. One would be have a dedicated router. Well, no, you really want, you now you want some isolation. Uh, I use, you know, there's one solution that comes from Xfinity. <laughs> they, uh, they, what they call XFi. They use plumes. Uh, these are those little silver things that the plume router. And plume uh, is, has an interesting feature. It has a VLAN feature built into it. They don't call it that, but they have three network levels. They have a guest level which has access to nothing but the internet. They have the homeowner level, which has access to everything. And they kind of have a middle level, uh, which is internet only. The internet only level, you could put your corporate computer on the internet only level with a plume, and then everything else that's going on would be isolated. That might be the solution. Uh, and you could do that without getting rid of your Xfinity router. You might inquire from Xfinity if you can get one of these plume, if, if, and I don't know, and somebody who uses Plume on Xfinity would have to tell me if they give you access to all the features. This is a feature that's built into the regular Plume. Um, but that's one of many routers that would do this. It's a VLAN is what you need. Another way to do this okay. would be to disable the routing in the Xfinity. Get something, $50 uh, hardware router, it's not Wi-Fi, called the U Ubiquity Edge Router X. It's inexpensive. It has four ports on it. Each of those ports can be on a VLAN, a separate LAN. A little complicated to set up, but you're a smart guy. You could figure this out. Uh, and by VLANing yeah, like it, project. You, yeah, you can isolate them. So that's the key word to do some Googling on is a VLAN, how to set up a VLAN in your house, a virtual network that is not visible to the corporate computer. And if all else fails, I'll just get another ISP. <laughs> yeah, you know what? If you got a separate ISP, I, I think you should make a case that, well, okay, fine, but you're going to be paying for this internet access through xfinity yeah right <laughs> that seems uh, that, that seems, would be beautiful but yeah, that's unfortunately that, not happening. yeah sometimes you need a job more than you need to be right uh so that's life yeah. right and that's kind of what they're insisting on and i think you're right i don't think it's nefarious they're trying to protect themselves if you started uh, you know bitcoin mining or serving pornography on their uh computer they'd want to be able to see that so they they keep an eye on those kinds of things any company is going to do that and, and legally has the right to do that. The trick is to isolate their computer from the rest of your house. If you get another router that has VLAN capability, that'll do it. All right. I'll keep doing my research. I really appreciate your help. Yeah, my pleasure. And thanks for telling me about those days long ago. I'm, I'm really pleased that worked out for you. Yeah, I'm glad the world's still here and glad you are. We're still here. Yeah, We're not living day. in a bunker yet. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Andy. Take care. 8888, uh, ask Leo. Yeah, that's a that's a more complicated networking uh, issue, but it's something I think you all want to think about. And keep in mind that any device that you put on your network, your home network, uh, has access to all the other devices. You know, your the theory being that it, once you're on your own network, your personal network, that's it's a secure network. That's why you can you can get in trouble in a business. If somebody comes from home with their laptop, their laptop has a virus, plugs it into your company's network, and it can then spread throughout the network. The network's presumed to be safe. 
now actually more more and more companies are doing to, uh, adopting protection against that because it's happened. I think it happened to CNN, as I remember. Somebody brought in a, a laptop. Might even be a company laptop, but uh, he infected it at home. Inside CNN, you can't get a virus because they have all sorts of antivirus protection, right, on inbound traffic. But the guy brought it home, got infected, brought it in. Now it's inside all that protection and infected everything else and brought a bunch of their computers to it, it, their knees. This was many years ago. Nowadays, we have ways to prevent that. So, And one of the ways is, is by segmenting, dividing up your network into pieces that can't talk to one another. The really primitive way to do this... My friend Steve Gibson calls the three-router solution. I don't know if this is practical, but buying three routers. <laughs> I, don't think, I think this is, I don't even want to repeat it. It's so nutty. But you could Google the three-router solution and see the, the kind of the map of how you would do this. One is connected to the outside world. One is connected to a, a, a less than safe network, maybe a bunch of, it's actually a good idea if you have a bunch of Internet of Things devices connect them to uh, a separate router and then the the third router is your router for getting out and into the world having a secure and an insecure local area network i guess that that would be the best way to describe it I, if you google three dumb routers <laughs> you'll either you'll either find a three stooges episode <laughs> or you'll find the three router solution to iot security can't can't say I uh, it's the it's certainly not the least expensive way to do this. 88, 88 ask Leo. 